Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope everyone's feeling good. And uh, thank you again to everyone who supports the channel. And if you haven't subscribed and you like the content, please subscribe and please hit the thumbs up as well. So here's the story that I was meant to tell of when I had a fight, a pub fight with my own son, Matty Jr. And uh, he gave me a thick ear and yeah, we had, a, we had a fight against each other. So I've checked with him and it's okay to do. So this is the story. So uh, first of all, I'll tell you about Matty. Me and Matty Jr., uh, Matty's 21 now. This happened a couple of years ago on his birthday. So me and Matty never ever have a crossword. We've never had an argument, in fact. We get on really well. During lockdown, this fight happened during lockdown, we were, we were drinking together quite a lot and we were staying up all night and partying and get, having, a, having a good time. <laughs> that was indoors though, it was indoors because it was lockdown. So anyway, uh, in between, I think this was in between maybe lockdowns, we went to the pub, a very nice pub. We'd been up all night because it was his birthday, we'd been up all night drinking and this is the following day. And um, as we were drinking, sitting there, me and Matty and our friend Jerry, uh, I think I told Matty to stop swearing, he, he, he was swearing or something, and he, he then basically told me where to go, and I said, basically, stop swearing and don't talk to me like that. And, and he was drunk, so he, he mouthed off a bit. Now, Matty, Matty Jr's not like that, and he was, he was mortified the following day when he realised what had happened. It was the drink, purely the drink. So anyway, I've, I've got up and said, if you're not going to calm down, I'm going to leave you to calm down. I walked off and I came back about five minutes later and I said to him as I got closer, and we were in the garden by the way, we were in the pub garden. It was like late afternoon and it was, um, yeah. So as I walked back, I said, have you, have you calmed down yet? And he got up and I think he picked a chair up to throw a chair. So I went, right, that's it. And he's gone straight into steam, steam straight into me. I think he threw a load of punches and um, I tell you what I'll do. I'll put a video up here of Matty on me and Matty on the pads, so you can get an idea of what he's like. So yeah, that was Matty on the pad. So you, as you can see, he, he knows that he can throw some punches. Uh, he's been sparring uh, men since he was young. He's been in the gym since he was 11. And he's, he's, a, he's boxed, he's had fights, he's had a handful of fights. He's won all of them except one. He's been sparring with men and he was getting the better of men, hurting men. He's a street fighter as well. He's, um, he had a fight at 15 with three lads, he beat all three. He had a fight a while ago against five blokes that uh, he's meant to have a straightener with one and five of them um, jumped on him and he beat all five. So he, he's definitely someone who can have a fight and he's got some balls. <laughs> and then he's, he steamed into me. Now I, I blocked the first couple of shots and I rolled and then I pushed him back and then he came for me again with another combination and he landed a couple, I think he landed on my ear. So I grabbed him held him on my chest, pulled him on like that. And I was saying, talking to him like, what are you doing and blah, blah. And then he pulled away and he's coming again. So he's coming again, hit me again. And I rolled underneath and I slapped him, open hand slapped him around the face. That pushed him back a bit. So he's coming again and he's hit me with another combination. And I thought, he's not gonna stop. So the next time I'm standing there, I'm trying to block the shots and move and slip. And I, and I thought, I'm gonna have to slow him down. So the next time he came in with a combo, I rolled underneath and I um, left hook slapped him around the, around the face. But when, anyone that knows boxing, when you roll, you get all that power from your leg. So where I left hook slapped him, he was knocked out and he fell thankfully on the grass, right on the grass. Uh, so I, I burst into tears like, oh my God, I've, not, I've just knocked my own son out. Uh, the landlady was there. This, this pub was quite a, a really a well uh, respectful pub. It's not the sort of spit and sawdust pub. It's a nice pub where nice people go, which is why I was telling him not to swear. So anyway, he's on the floor out and I burst into tears. The landlady, I was saying to the landlady, wake him up, wake him up and all this. I'm walking around like, oh my God, like what's, what, what's happened? Um, he came to, he got up <laughs> and he went to me, 
Yeah, that was a great, was a good fight, Dad. <laughs> and we've hugged each other. I'm in tears. He's he's laughing about the fight, saying that was a good scrap. And I mean, I, I, in a way, I've got pride. I got pride for him for having the balls to fight me because not not many people had a, had a one on one with me. But he he actually stood there toe to toe. If it, he's about four or five stone lighter than me, thank God he wasn't 18, 19 stone because I would have had that would have been the fight from hell because. Um, <laughs> He's just got that much determination in his game and his speed. Um, but I outweighed him by about five or six stone. Anyway, he's got up and then we hugged and we were laughing about it, like, thank God. Uh, his mum turned up. I'm not with his mum anymore, but she's turned up. She's obviously hit the roof, like, what? <laughs> she's hit the roof and, um, yeah, it was one of them episodes that the only time we've ever had an argument and we ended up having a fight. Uh, he woke up the following day and he was so apologetic and... He was, yeah, he wasn't, he was really gutted that it had happened. And I said to him, don't worry about it, it's forgotten. It's a, it's a drink thing. And, and when you're a boxer, as boxers, you're used to getting in the ring and sparring with friends or even family. So you're used to exchanging punches. You can switch off. It's weird, as a boxer, you can hit people you love and you're friends with. You can, you can hit them and hurt them. So it's not like it was anything out of the ordinary. Do you know what I mean? But uh, obviously, it was one of them. One of the things that you're not proud of, but I did say I'll do the video about it, and that's the video. <laughs> Me and Matty have got on ever since, and we'll always get on, so yeah, he's my boy, Matty Jr., my eldest. <laughs> There's a the story anyway. Hope you're all well, and I've got a video coming out. I'm gonna do just a little Fury Chisora prediction. I know nobody wants to watch the fight, but I'm gonna do a little prediction on that. There's a little, little bit of the view there. I'll show you the view. I sometimes come down here, there's a church back there as well. Um, but I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do a little video about um, uh, me and Frank Bruno when we were in his, in, his, um, in his little room talking about our bad backs as well, so I'll stick that on as well. But yeah, hope you're well, and I'll catch up with you all soon, thank you.